Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic, and this is another reaction to Ruby. It is season seven, episode four. And as always, if you want to see the reaction itself, just go down into my descriptions. Follow the links, replace the parenthesis dot parts with real dots, and enjoy. Once you've done, feel free to come back over here and hear my thoughts about this episode. So see you soon. To those that came back. Welcome back in an interesting time of how do those two characters know each other? Um, I mean, one shouldn't be surprised, right? Jack always being a bit shady. Um, it was always in question where he came from. I mean, we know from the background that he married into the family. So where did he come from? The young and um, charming at this time successful um person that he was I, I thought about like now seeing that he knows what's um possibly from a time then why not um the question is maybe he was like um i don't know there's a word for it someone who plays to be famous who acts as though he knows everything who um learned how to Get the rich girls, right? Get the rich girls that will inherit wealth, which he did. So um, maybe he was that kind of guy who tried it and what's being, well, shady as well. Maybe they worked together at this time. Or the other option is that he already was the big and influential one from the Schneider's company and uh, what's helped him out with a lot of stuff getting more power inside of atlas um i mean he we know that he's good at hacking at manipulating the um the whole system that atlas and mental are working with also automated right so he may have helped with some deliveries and less checks for stc property and maybe bent a rule then uh, then at this time so that Duck could make more profit. That's the other option I see. However, they do know each other. And the fact that um Jack sends out Whitley, close the door and leave, right? Um and not throws out what's instantly, which he would have the power to, right? Um makes me think that there are things in the past that Watts could use against him. Pretty sure. So but he knows how to influence him and manipulate him. And that's the main problem now because it seems like he will get Jock to um, work together with him uh, with the promise that he will get rid of Ironwood or at least lower the power of Ironwood. Um, I think Jack is too clever to fall for that on a long run. I mean, otherwise he wouldn't be and who he is and where he is. But at least for a short time, he might give in. And that is just the lever that um, Salem needs in Atlas. He has power. And he has a lot of money and a lot of influence. So that will be a problem. Pretty sure. So it was kind of surprising. Um, but it makes sense that this is where Watts is going. The other thing that we know now is that Tyrion is killing... Um, People from the opposition of Ironwood. So they are already working on this plan of undermining the um, power of Ironwood by making him seem like he's taking out opposition. Which brings me to the other side, which is Ruby. So Ironwood gets undermined from Watts and uh, Tyrion already, gets blamed for stuff. And Ruby is not completely trusting him, not giving him all information. And... I mean, if Salem and her team are working so directly against Ironwood, you can guess that although it might not be popular what he's doing, it's efficient. It's working. And Ruby not opening up about what they know and what they do really, really um, undermines Ironwood in another way, right? He could have more options, more possibilities if he knew more, which he doesn't. Um, I see why Ruby is doing it. Uh, we talked about that. And I agree with Crow here that she's not doing exactly the same like um, Oz. Oz simply trusted no one anymore. 
um, which is not so much of a surprise after such a long time. He will be have been betrayed by people over the centuries. So, yeah, I mean, and he was be kind of betrayed by his love of his life. So whom to trust after that, right? Um, and Ruby's not doing that. There are a lot of people who know what is going on. And she just does not have the complete trust in Ironwood yet, which is sad. Because from what we have seen so far, Ironwood is really, really giving his all to the plan that he has and to Team Ruby. I mean, he just promoted them to Hunters. He um, shared all his information. He brought them in on his whole plan. And they are not, you know, they are not like guardsmen or anything. They are the inner circle. He shares this with them. Like he shares with his top two people, which is Winter and um, Penny. So, yeah. Trust. Again, the problem. We talked about that. Uh, then we had a lot of comedic relief here, mainly through Nora. Under size and cake and all that stuff. It was entertaining and funny. Um, I think that's always a hard thing, a problem for any series. And I think in Ruby you can see it especially this split between being sincere. Um, like in the scenes with Ironwood and um, uh, Jack or Jack and um, Watts. You know, that's, they're sincere. There was no comedy in this moment and wouldn't have been fitting. And on the other hand, wanting to have some comedic relief, some fun, some joy. Um, Nora is the a little bit too far person, but it they get they keep it in shape. It's still okayish. Um, sometimes instead it is Ruby when she's having her funny moments, um, and they're balancing there um, from Rooster. They're balancing of getting both in without. It feeling wrong right it's not easy sometimes it's a little bit too much for me but I know that they're trying to balance it and quite I think so far quite okay um, we get a little bit of back um, feedback from the aces so um, it's a job we don't confuse that so okay they're very sincere about the, what they do, but the question is... I mean, they're a good team. They're working together because they are... It was checked that their abilities and capabilities are fitting perfectly to each other. So it is more like a well-oiled machinery. The question is, is it really like a team that has grown together? I mean, possibly over time, but Ruby and the other teams grew together out of hours of need. They realized they had to work together. They helped each other so often. And now what forms them is friendship. Or as it was put in this in this episode especially, it's family now. Um, which was the one in the face of Jock, right? A very nice one. Um, and last but not least, so, I mean, two more things. Um... Jack using the mother of Weiss to press her emotionally was a dick move. I mean, he knew exactly what he was doing. Um, he knows that um, she very likely loves her mother and um, it was never really said, but there is this open speculation, your mother is drinking in the garden, right? That maybe just maybe she's having an alcohol problem. And um, by saying... Uh, that she was down because uh, Wise left. And you know what happens when she's disappointed, you know? He was kind of blaming it on her. Not that that really happened. He just acted as so. We don't know if that really happened. But that was just... Uh, I mean, this move just had the means of hurting Wise, Making her feel bad. So much for dead of the year material, right? And last but not least, Huntsman. Okay, so they're Huntsman, just like that. Nicely done in the Colosseum. I I see the gesture, I see the place and that it is fitting and I completely agree there with Ironwood. Um, he's not the big porker, right? He's not the one that makes like a festival out of it. Um, 
but he can do it because he is the head of an academy so he can promote them to Huntsman and I think it's about time it's cool I like that um once again proved that he really wants them in um but I have to agree with what was said there it almost feels trivial now and yes it does because it was the big goal for them in the beginning um out of different reasons i remember when they were ta uh, asked um why do you want to become a huntsman there was a major scene and i loved that scene it was great uh, because it made them think about themselves and why do i really want that I reflect that and now so much has happened and it's all on such a bigger scale that they realize that this dream which was partially a childish dream like you know the aspiration of becoming someone working for the police for the fire department becoming a doctor stuff like that that we, those dreams we have as children um, and even as young adults um, they have grown over that they they have become bigger they have not lost this dream it still was a dream and now they have it but it does not have the importance anymore because there's more important stuff in the world um, and there's this sincerity that about all that is happening and that caught them so in a kind of way they have grown and become adults because they needed to and Huntsman is just along the way and I like it that they pointed that out um, was a good scene was well done yeah that's it about this time it was a good episode I liked it um, put on a more sincere note right now and um, the plan of the bad guys is starting to form there and we know now why uh, Tyrion killed this guy it was not the drunkard sorry it was the one that was in the um, in the ship they were transported with to Ironwood which explains why we've seen him so until the next time feel free to comment like and subscribe my name is Relax and Panic goodbye and out